Hello, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're working on another one of my challenges. It's the Caroline's Craft Tree Challenge. I'm usually at the end of the week on all my challenges, especially hers. Um, but she puts out such a great one. Uh, she has five prompts. The prompts for this week, which is 35, are library card, which you can see under here I've enlarged one, um, a sticky note, a hat, a person, and a typewriter. So first we're going to get to the sneak peek of the day and to my new book here, the February, which is the first one I did in 2021. Uh, we looked at that. We looked at this and we're down to this one. And I've got a feeling you've seen maybe this type of a fold before, but I'll take the little pockets out and or, I mean the tags, and it's four pockets. One, two, three, and four. I had. You don't have to glue it down on that side, which you, that could be open as well, like these two. Or you can glue all these sides up and make it a straight down pocket. It didn't matter. You also could have left uh, part of this fold up. Now, this was an easy fold. Let me grab a piece of paper and show you. All right, I'll use this scrap. It's just a regular eight and a half by 11. Uh, you can make them any size, but usually you try to keep it in a rectangular shape. You fold it once long ways. Then you do a, a fold to the quarter fold, which, you know, I might fold it this way because I've got that cut there. Um, so we're going to fold it like that. And then what you do, well, you make sure it's square. My corner didn't come out then you fold it down you fold it once here and you're going flush with this side uh, and then you're just putting the fold in now this is where I was saying you could put a dot here and have a little opening here and here or you can glue it down all the way which I did in mine then you're going to take the next one and fold it down to where it's maybe a half of an inch quarter of an inch away from the previous one and then you tuck it under then you'll take the next one and do the same. Quarter of an inch. Whoops, didn't do that. Okay. And you tuck it under. And then you're going to take the last one and do the same. <laughs> Get my hands on it. Well, thank you for coming to visit and see what I'm doing today. I'm showing you all kinds of stuff. I even got a little uh, haul share to share with you here after this. And there you go. That's all you do. Uh, you can glue down all your sides. You can get in here and ink before you do any gluing. You can glue these pieces down if you want to, but they're pretty much held in there once you start gluing this down, and it holds pretty nicely. Now with mine, you can see I wanted to put some extra color to it, so I put these little pieces of Stamperia on there. Usually you make it out of book page, which she did, and then I've got like little pieces of my stamp area here. So it's kind of like a uniform look. Um, and then you just have whatever kind of little tags that you want to go in here. Could be little pieces of paper. Uh, it really doesn't matter. You know, little small things. Over here is pretty easy. It's just uh, a belly band that it was one of the, the journal cards from the kit. I think this was lilacs and something. I can't remember, but it was the first one I got, and I loved it, because it, it, here's the lilacs. Um, at the bottom down here, I don't know what I was doing. I was just using some of these crazy jewelry things that I had left over. Like, this is like a clasp for a bracelet. I put some uh, jump rings on there, and that's an actual ring ring you wear on your finger. <laughs> and I put these little dangles. Uh, I think it needed something, so I guess that's what I did. Now, here's another one of the uh, kind of a, a, it's not an altered paper clip, but it, it has the same purpose. It goes on the edge of your page. Now, these were where you take two shapes, and you're going to glue them just up here at the very top. And then they make like a little pinch uh, item to pinch on your page. And then I put a little... Uh, uh, what do you call this? A bulb uh, pen with a few little bobbles on it. Of course, I have ribbon and lace and a butterfly that I did uh, 
uh, what do you call that, glossy accents on and a little uh, bling. And this is on a piece of uh, notebook paper I've got in my book. I was trying to use different types of uh, papers at that point. So, there we go. There's a sneaky peek. It's all you get seed day. <laughs> all right, let me put that away. And I'll throw that over there for my um, ideas book. <laughs> oh, and my my little shoppy dop that I did. Here we go. Got me some more stuff from Simon Says Stamps. Look at this. This will go with my haunted house. I'm thinking I'll make a tag with it. Uh, something that will possibly go on the front of the book so you know it's a haunted house kind of a deal. has all these great sayings down below. Um, we have a moon, we have bats, which I'm going to use today, a tree limb, and a cloud. Uh, back here, it's like the brick, what is that? The stone wall look, I believe. And then we have this, which is like a neat looking wallpaper. I'm going to set that over there because we're going to use that. Now this one I got specifically for my dragon journal, which I need to get to working on. Because it's, uh, I'm going to do, um, texture paste down a page or something i've been seeing them do a lot of that lately and i really like that look and it's kind of neutral it doesn't you can't really tell what it says unless you you know that language now i just had to have foreboding i love that skull that was to the you know three quarter degree angle the the spider which i'm going to use in my thing somewhere my book had to have the drippy candle. That was the main draw here, <laughs> the drippy candle. Then you got the kind of distressed look with the big splotches. And then you have these two scrolls, which would work with anything. It's really gothic looking. That's what I liked about it. And then we have this one, which is the really big page-sized uh, stamp. And it's called Shattered. I saw so many wonderful things done with it. I just had to have it. So that was a few of the things. <laughs> Let me clear my desk a little bit. This was another, and I've got things picked out of it that I want to use probably for this particular uh, project today. This was the layers and paper dolls. It's one of those new kits that he does where he mixes a bunch of different things. You got the big portraits in here. You got the little paper dolls. You've got numbers. You've got bat wings. You have... Uh, big pieces of um, like a, a journal card sized item. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful. It has so many different things in it. It's kind of keyed for Halloween 2023, but I think it could go a little bit further than that. Then ah, I had to have Ominous Twilight. I saw him do something with Ominous Twilight. I had already bought Fortune Teller. But Fortune Teller is more of a, mm, I don't know what you would call that, more of a grape purple or a, a burgundy purple. Whereas Fortune, I mean, a Ominous Twilight is more of a purple blue, which is what I, I just had to have. And then I had to buy Wicked Elixir, which is this gorgeous little green color. I thought for maybe if I'm going to do anything with a, a Mad Fortune, I mean, uh, uh, not a pharmacist, but a, a mad scientist kind of situation. <laughs> I would do that. Okay, so what we have here, I've got these two, I don't know what they are, I guess curtains, an arch, something. And I'm thinking to use them today. I don't know if I will. Uh, two of her words uh, were person and hat. So, boom, I had that all in one in that pack I just showed you. Oh, look at his mustache. Oh, my God. I've got 31 or 13, whichever way I want to go with it. And I've got the bat wings because he's a vampire. <laughs> okay. I've got me a circle here. It's not cut out yet. i got to spray it because it's going to be a moon. And I took a big old coffee cup and I just laid it on there and I drew that circle. I'm going to use the smooth side. This is like a watercolor paper. And you always have a rough side. I don't know if you can see the little divots in it. But I have a smooth side as well. So we're spraying the smooth side. And that's going to be with these. Uh, scattered straws. Spray stain. 
and it's iridescent, which is beautiful. I've used it a lot before. Okay, then I showed you this. I think I'm just going to ink on it a little bit because this is going to be specifically for writing on. It's going to be for journaling. And I didn't do the back side. Uh, I just left it like it is. Uh, she just said library card. So I took the first uh, side of it. It's going to be what I need. Now these are two pieces from my lost world. <laughs> so I took my book page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together down here at the bottom. So I can make a, a library pocket per se. Okay. Then I've got these two pieces of paper. This is from Dark Academia. They had one page that was nothing but huge, large books, but I wanted this to be my library in my haunted house. So that's why I picked this. This was a spare piece, which is going to go on the back side. And what I'm going to do, oh, I need to cut that down a little bit. Don't I? <laughs> okay. And what I need to do is this side, I'm going to cut this line right here and make this a pocket. Can you see this right there? I'm cutting that to make a pocket, and that's what my little library pocket is going to go down into. You see my play? Library library pocket? Okay. <laughs> library card. That's where I come... That's how this came about in my mind. Now, this side is going to be different. It'll be in a different spot in the book. I don't know. I may make this in the center. I don't know what I'm going to do. But this side will have a divot cut out of it right here. These are two stronger types of paper. They're not like flimsy. So they're nice and strong. So they can make a nice pocket that I could put a little uh, book into. So that'll play along with this. It may be a book on you know, how to become a witch, uh, uh, how to turn into a werewolf, you know, something like that. <laughs> so let me get set up to do a little spraying because that's what we're going to do first. I need to cut that down. Uh, so they're both the same and then I'll uh, I'll do the spray and then I'll get to cutting this and show you how I'm gonna do that all right hold on okay this is my homemade splat box <laughs> you don't have to buy one of those expensive ones all you have to do is take you a box and line it with paper towels I don't really have to shake a spray stain but I do anyway just for the chance that it may have settled in one spot now I'm just, I can get in here and put some wet on it as well. Sorry, I had to reach around there and get my spray gun. All right, as you can see, you can spray it. And it will kind of go round, round, round. <laughs> However you want. It spreads it easier. Mm. All right. And then what you want to make sure you do is you... Uh, you dot your nodes. You don't <laughs> you don't want it to dry on there like that because maybe that's why it's spraying so straight because it's uh, gathered in the nose a little more than it should be. Now, you can get in here with your uh, heat gun and heat it a little bit, which we'll do. Okay, I'm going to just get in here and hit it. And I may go over it again. Then again, I may not. I may just put my... Uh, my what you call it on here my shimmer i'm wanting it to kind of have the idea of, it looks like a moon with the ripples that's what i'm hoping for here and i'm turning it to get the to get the drift to keep going toward the inside all right That's almost done. Then we're going to take our shimmer here, which I do need to stir this up. See how it's any kind of a mica spray. You want to get in here and shake it up. Mm. Now this one is a Dilusions. Uh, it's, a, it's sold in Michaels in the area where they sell all the distress sprays. Oh, that is not letting go too well on the bottom there. Okay, that may be good enough. All right, let's just give it a spray. It's going. To, oh, I don't think my my nose there is. <laughs> it's. It must be. I probably need to take a, a hot rag and put in there to make it a little more 
spray. <laughs> yeah, that's a good term, spray. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give it a little bit of water. And ooh, it's still pretty wet there. What I was going to try to do is get in there and, well, I think I'm going to get it anyway. See the splotchy look? Whenever you spray your water over top, you will sometimes get that splotchy look, and that's perfect. That's just what I want. That'll give me the moon appearance of craters. Excellent. Okay. I think that's as dry as it needs to be. We're going to set it to the side. Then we're going to come back in. Oh, let me do a close-up for you. I always forget to do close-ups, and you really have to shout at me. <laughs> but it's, I don't know why this uh, silver is coming out over here, but that's okay. We're good with it. I'm going to do a little inking on the edge. Just a little after all is said and done. Let me get these back here. If I see my arm, sorry. All right, our next is our paper. Now, I know I want this for the top, so we're going to do that first. Um, and I'm not exactly sure where it's going to come around to. So at least, um, at least around that area, I need to spray on this one. Okay, we'll do this first. Um, I'm going to start out with some of our Uncharted Mariner. I saw him use this with the purple and that green, and I thought, oh, yummy. That looks so much like Peacock. But what we're going for here is night. We want it to be night. Now, over here, I'm going to spray kind of like that. <laughs> it could do whatever it wants to. I'm uh, going to wipe our nose off. We're going to come in here with a little bit of gray. Actually, let's spray it a little bit, too. Give it, make it move a little bit. Okay. Now, here we're going to do a little gray. It's going to give it that nice cloudy look. All right, I always wipe them off, but you sometimes may come back and use more. Now this is the one that we have to stir. It's the mica. And he said to stir it sideways first and get, oh, <laughs> and get the ball rolling. <laughs> Maybe that's where that phrase comes from. Oh, I told you in the last one, I was gonna tell you some more of the the graveyard things. I'll have to, well, uh, I have to do that. I may, I may be doing my graveyard next, which is the garden for the, um, uh, castle or the haunted mansion. <laughs> you know, well, I have a regular garden. You gotta have one with your tombstones in it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, now, Boy, I put the ominous twilight on there. Mm -mm -mm. And little pieces of this that don't get used are going to go for something else. You know. Woo, I can just drip onto here. That won't hurt a thing. And I think that's all we're going to use. We just want those three colors. Look how pretty that one is. That one's really uh, combined good. And then this one... We want it to do a little more mixing. Oh, there it went. There it went. Okay. Yeah. Now, I usually lay them up on the side if I want them to come down. But that one just needs some more mixing. There. Mm. 
Yeehaw. And now I need to get in here and start drying. So let me put them in there together. Get your heat gun going. And see what you end up with. <laughs> That's always the thing. You don't know what you're going to end up with. Okay, I had to finish that off screen because it was just taking so long. But here's what I ended up with. I've got a little bit of a sheen here. This is going to be the top part of my pocket. And then this is going to be the front face of the pocket where my scene is going to be. i got a really pretty splotch up here, but I don't know if the pocket's going to go over that far. So I may rip that off and use it somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but you can see where that really pretty mica spray comes in to play with the others. Uh, and then here's our going to be our moon card. Check that out. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, now what I want to do is we're going to form our pocket. We're also going to cut our circle for our moon. I wanted a really, really big moon. I just, uh, I know that, well, that comes into play with werewolves, doesn't it? But I don't know if it comes into play with, uh, with vampires, although they do come out at night, and you accrue that with a full moon, especially a scary full moon. Oh, my mom used to work at the um, the laundry down at Oak Hill Nursing Home, and uh, she was usually the night shift, and she said, oh my gosh, when those, um, when the uh, full moons would come around, those people... The, the laundry just flew down there because they were wet in the bed and everything else. So a full moon really, really affects you. You wouldn't think it would, but there, I mean, it's, it's usually what draws the tides. I think it has something to do with the hurricanes and the tornadoes. A full moon has a lot of things that it touches. Such as a lot of stuff in nature. Now I'm using um, Vintage Photo because I wanted a warm, yellowy tone. And if you've used Vintage Photo, you'll know that it's up for that. <laughs> it has, uh, and, and then when you get it wet, it has sort of a green tinge that comes out of it. Some really weird color schemes that comes around with it. But here, that gave it a little more of a a spherical look to do the inking on the outside edges okay so that's done for that one then we're going to figure out what we want to do with this um i know it's probably only going to need to be about five inches wide because <laughs> it's right here is my my crease uh my spine and then my edge so I need it to be a little less than that. So, is that going to be from from words to words? Now, you saw what I did, didn't you? Book page, book, library. <laughs> you probably got that. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And what's going to happen is we're going to curl this around. Yeah, it's going to work. All right, let me get my glue in here. Get a good bit of glue down here on the bottom. And then we'll do the cutting. We'll figure out what we want to do after we get this together. Okay. And I don't need to worry about that one area because it's going to be hidden. That's why I didn't get any ink or any spray. All right, there we go. Now, what we're going to do next is it's going to be bent around to about right here. I need to be big enough to have my moon and my man. So we got to get that on there. Hmm. 
that might be just just about right just about right there because their top is only going to be about half of an inch three quarters of an inch at the most all right there we go now what we're going to do is i'm going to go over i got to make sure this is straight i don't look like it's straight per the words on the back side all right i'm going to go over there and i'm going to cut it about right here and then I'm going to cut the edges to where it's about four and a half inches wide. Okay, I've got it cut. It's about um, eh, it's about seven eighths of an inch, almost an inch, at the top. Uh, our piece here is about five and a half inches tall, and then I cut it to almost five inches. It's not quite. Uh, I had to go with dimensions of this card, so I knew the card would go down in it and leave a little room for the glue to dry, so that's what I had to do there. Uh, now, the top corners, we're going to round off, because I think usually library, pocket, ugh, library pockets usually have a rounded corner there. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put these two together, because this cutter does not like anything thin like you know notebook paper or this kind of paper so we have to put these two together and it'll cut it okay there you go <laughs> tip of the day <laughs> probably already knew it um all right so then we have a little lip that's sticking out in here that needs to be taken care of because the paper library card is going to for sure get stuck on that going down so we got to do that. It's like envelope maintenance. I always tell you about. You have maintenance to take care of. We'll smooth that up to where we know it's on there good. All right. So that took care of that. Um, next, we're going to glue our edges. Go ahead and go up. I don't know if I need to do any kind of uh, inking along the top here. I know you're not supposed to put any thumb holes in it so let's see what we can do how how straight I can get it with my shaky hands I'm going to leave it laying down here just in case and I'm trying not to put a very thin thread of glue so it won't spread very much okay let's see how she does hmm huh push it out the side as much as possible and not inward <laughs> all right there we go now I'm gonna have to trim my edge just a little bit because I see some white sticking over and you can also ink it if you would prefer which I may end up throwing me a little bit of this vintage photo in here actually I think I'm going to trade over and go to my my fave, <laughs> my espresso, <sighs> just so I have something dark. So let's do a little bit of that. Now, the library pocket is kind of pointing, so I'm going to take the smallest uh, corner rounder and use on it. Now, I'm going to also go over this, I think, with um, <laughs> my floor is horrible, uh, with the... Uh, ground espresso so let's try that all right just just the edge doesn't have to be much just to give it a little age to it because it's been this library for who knows how long actually I might write some words on here it won't be today I'll surprise you with the flip through figure out who has been to this library <laughs> <laughs> oh, you may be surprised. I have to find a great uh, title for this book for whoever has come to get into it and read its secrets. Hmm, that'll give me some thinking to do. I do need to cut this over over the edge thing here. I don't know if you're going to see this. Oh, yeah, you do a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
just to give it a little bit of delineation between that purple and the other purple. Oh, yeah. See, you can see it a little bit. I just got to trim that little tad there and go on down the line. Yeah. Then we can get into our decorating the top of this card. And then I'll show you how to how I'm going to put it into the actual page. All right. So this can go down in here. It's done. I could ink the back as well. Do I have it? It's probably still a little wet, but I, I dried it as well as I could. Oh, okay. That's as far as it'll go. So the author and the title will show, hey, I can handle that. Okay. This right here. We're going to cap our glue because we got to do some stamping. Stamping time. All right. So I have these stamped right here. This is for just one letter. Uh, this, I needed a typewriter, and I'm going to use the Just My Type. So I'm going to get in here and get that. And get in here. Ooh. Now this is a stamp set, what is that, Echo Park Paper Company and Sizzix. So we need this one, and I need a stamp pad, and then we're going to use the typewriter. I'll pull that out and just set it on top so it's ready to go. Okay, um, I am taking, <laughs> hang on, whoops, <laughs> sorry, I popped it. Um, I'm going to take this and type it on there in black. Let's see how it turns out. Okay. Ooh, turned out pretty good. Now we can use the other side for the typewriter. Not exactly sure how the typewriter has anything to do with this. The uh, the the actual library is what helped me come up with all this. So that's where this is coming from. Um, that usually you type your letters or type your memoirs or something that get turned into books. I'm not so crazy about that typewriter. Let's do another one just in case. I don't think I had enough ink on it. Let's try this one. Can you see me? Yeah, I'm way down at the bottom or not. Oh, well. Okay. Don't know if that one's a, that one's a little better. Okay, and then we have one letter... That is to come out of this pack right here. And it's, well, it is a letter and it's a um, negative. <laughs> You'll see where I'm going with that in a minute. <laughs> okay, got A. Okay. A. Well, that came out nice. Let's see. Do I need to stamp it off? Let's stamp it off a little bit there. All right. And then we have a symbol over here. Actually, we'll use the positive. <laughs> Let's use the positive. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I mean, you're supposed to have fun with this stuff. <laughs> you know, I get in here, and that's what I do. I try to have fun. I, I have a play on words I like to do. I have uh, a play on, you know, the scenario. I had one more thing. Oh, I think I put it away. Hang on. Oh, no, it's over here. All right, here we go. I need one more thing to stamp. It's going to be on my moon. It's going to be with my new stamp set. I like this because it had so many 
things on here. Now I need to get that off. Oh, man. I think I need to pull it off the front first because it looks like it wants to... We'll do that later. I can get in here and get this. This is all I wanted. It's the, the bats. I need to fix that <clears throat> piece there. All right. Oops. I went and put my black away. Here we go. And which way are they flying? Okay. I got to get my bats in here. So they're going to be flying way up here. So I'm going to hold it just a second because I don't know how well the Micah takes it. Yes, perfect. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to put our goodie together. We have this here. I don't know whether I'm going to use this or not. I wanted it to look like it was part of the library. And he was in it. The moon is going to be outside. He is going to be down here, maybe over top of that. And I have to get my words and stuff in here. I don't know if I'm going to get the 13 in here. That goes behind him. Um, I need to cut my goodies out. I'll be back as soon as I get these cut out. Okay, I have got it kind of figured out how I wanted to do it. Oh, so this will be it. All right, let me take my 13 off of there. The moon has to go down first. I'm going to take him and put him down here. Yes, our moon will be from almost edge to edge, right the way it is. I'm going to glue that down first. I've been needing to get in here and practice with some of my, my goodies. <laughs> Especially with me buying more. I think I'm done though. I just, I had certain things I wanted and the way they talk, you know, they don't know whether they're going to get them for the next year or how that's going to be. So I just wanted to get my hands on them before they would disappear for good. Although some of the last years you can find now on the, um, the site because he was discussing some of them when he shows the makes. That's my favorite part. They got something on there today, but I think it's Christmas. But I like to see the makes because it gives me so many ideas. And it, I didn't get this one from them, but I mean, I'm sure one of them's come up with something along these lines. You've got so many great elements to use. All right, that part's down. Now I need to get his wings on him, and I'm really debating on how to do that. I know I want him right there. Yeah, right there. So right around my hand is where I need to glue. All right. Set him back down here and get him kind of edged up. <laughs> I hope those are some strong wings because he looks like a sturdy gentleman. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Now we're going to get that down and glue that to our base. I have to make me one similar to this for my second book because, you know, sometimes I have the same stuff to use from one to the other, and then sometimes I don't. I don't have the sky again, I know, but I'm sure I can find me another spooky looking guy to <laughs> put in here. <laughs> All right, that's down. Now, the idea with the typewriter, I have to have the typewriter, and I had to have sticky notes, so I've taken my sticky note here, there's the sticky part on the top, 
and it's going to be like it's coming out of the typewriter. So we're going to actually glue it to the typewriter first. And, um, you know, it's not going to be exactly like it's coming out. I'm going to have to ad lib a little bit here, you know. So it's going to be like that. And then I have to get my information on here first. And I think I was going to do it like that. You know how you have like A plus on a lot of your things that, that you hand in to the teacher? If they really like what the... <laughs> so that's, that's why I got A plus. But <laughs> there's another reason I have A plus. Because... He's a vampire, and his type is A+, plus. his favorite type of blood. Uh, did any of y'all get that? I was hoping somebody was shouting it out back there. One of you that's got like a wicked, <laughs> kooky mind like me. <laughs> so anyhow, that's what the idea of the A+, plus is here for. And adjust my type. Now what I'm going to do... I'm going to rip it, and then I'm going to take my curling idea, which I've used in the wallpaper from my, uh, my stair step fold, and we're going to bring it down. I could just do it down that one side, couldn't I? Yeah, I don't have to have both sides curling down. All right, there. Hopefully that'll stay like that, and I won't have to to glue it so this is going to go over here right here off of his side i thought the purple might go well because it'll go with the background it's a little different purple but i think we'll be all right i'm gonna glue this down do, 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 and put it right here in this hole it's like he sits here in the library at night and he types up his memoirs. Like, <laughs> what, what is that uh, interview with a vampire? <laughs> oh gosh, it's early. Well, not it's early for me, let's put it that way. <laughs> I just got done with my breakfast and already I'm coming up with crazy stuff. Okay, I want to put my 13 in there because, you know, 13, my mom, oh. We go to the hospital or something like that, and she goes into room 13. She comes right back out again. She will not stay in there. <laughs> All right. From this, um, the new Halloween uh, 2023 sticker book, there's one in here that says, His Transformation from Mortal to, Mortal to Vampire. And I want to put that right up here in maybe that rosette area. I think, or maybe down along the bottom of him. Maybe that's where I would put it. Hmm. I kind of like it up here on this very top. I don't want to, I got a, another little idea for down there on him, and I don't want to get anything in the way. All right, so we're going to do that. I still got to show you my um, idea for the, the actual page itself and I wanted to show you what I had on my last one I've been working on okay where's three all right I'm gonna put that right here and I'll put this down I come in here thinking I'm gonna get this stuff done lickety split and it doesn't seem to work that way. <laughs> doesn't seem to work that way. All right. There we go. I got so many birthday things to, to read off to my dad. This is like the first. And I'm filming this. So <laughs> I got to fill him in. Now in here, it also has these bats. And let me... Let me test a little one here well toot come out of there bat nope too too small i wanted to give him a bat bow tie i don't know if i saw another lady doing that on his witch collets but i thought that'd be a cool idea 
especially since he already turns into one. All right. Put it about right there. There we go. Now, got to get over here and get my paper figured out for you. Okay, so I've got my paper. I've scored it in half. I've cut my little punch out here. I'll have to ink my edges. But I've also went over here and cut this piece that is going to be uh, the pocket. And what I did is I actually cut uh, a very tiny slit. The, I'm not just going to do a line. I'm going to do like a whole, uh, like a gusset kind of a area here. I may need to cut it a little bigger. We're going to cut that out and see if he slides into it very nicely. Let's see what we got. I trimmed it a little further over and I got a little bit of white there. There we go. All right. Let's see if he slides in there pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, what I want to do, get in here and I'm going to ink my edge just so it's not dark or, or white, I mean. So you're just going to go around that real quick and okay and where we got our slit I want to go in here with a couple of scraps that I've got and I'm just going to put them along the top and the bottom you're not going to see them but it might add extra strength to this area so we're trimming that one there We'll trim this one to be the same size. It really doesn't matter, but, you know, I'm not using those pieces for anything that I can foresee. So we're just going to put them down, and it's going to help our pocket be stronger from the constant in and out of this bigger uh, pocket going in. <laughs> too many ends right <laughs> oh and I also want to show you um, when I got done on the stair step I think I may have mentioned that already though but I am going to throw that in there at the end I really want you to see that okay well, the way we've got this this brick wall is going to be on the back side and where this thumb pull is I put a brick I, I did ink it and then I remembered I had this extra piece of brick um that could go here and hide the thumb pole or the the white where the thumb pole will be okay and i never leave these bigger thicker pieces together when i'm going against another one i always cut them because they're not going to they're not going to do well because they're so thick they'll they won't bend right oh I didn't, oh, whoops, I forgot, I never did trim that one, and <laughs> I glued it in the wrong spot, okay, all right, Rhoda, get with it, let me go in here and glue this edge real quick, and glue it down, and then I'll trim that off. I inked it and everything. Well, I'll ink that later. All right. Now the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Figure out which side I inked. Let's do this, this, and this side because I know I've got to trim it before I can glue it. Is it too big? Ooh. A little bit. I'll pull it out just a tad. And you're not going to see that white there. I'm, I can go down with a marker, though. I probably will. But you won't see that. Alright. My nasty rag out of the way. You don't want to be looking at that all the time. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
I wasn't paying attention. I, I glued that wrong. Well, I wanted to glue it all the way around, to tell you the truth. I don't need it open except <laughs> where it is open for that uh, pocket. So let's just do us a little edge of glue there. And us an edge of glue here. Okay. It did need to stay open in the middle, so that was the safest way to glue that. All around the edges, and that's it. Okay. So, oh, our pocket's white. I'll do, I'll do some marker on that, too. But here is how it's supposed to go down in here, just like this. It probably needs to be worked a little bit. But look how cute. And it'll bend in the middle where it goes into the spine. All right, let me show you this that I've got behind me. It's burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> I like playing on words. <laughs> burning a hole in my pocket. Okay, so I did these two, which are my stair step fold. I did this one for Mrs. Paints a Lot's challenge, and it was from something I saw another lady do. But I've got all these strips behind the window. I've got the, the wallpaper like it's peeling up. Be open to whatever comes next. Opening a window. Lost in the woods. Okay. I got a black cat up here because there was a die cut as a prompt word. Um, and then you can write on the back of there. And I see vanishing visitors. So I made a pocket. And what I had to do is I had to build that pocket up. I had to put strips on the back of this window because this paper doll is thicker. So for her to slide in there easily, I had to do that. Now this one I did a little different. I just, because I wanted it to look like the baseboards. Like the wallpaper had ripped away and you can see the baseboard strips behind. So that was the whole idea. Plus I put a huge black cat, beautiful nightfalls, embrace danger, peculiar journey, that kind of thing. And this is Amelia Hardy, the proprietress of 54 Essex Street. I've got in the dead of the night there. She's also a pocket. She does a lot easier. I think I put an extra strip behind her. And she just uh, peeks out her window and waits for people to come rent a room. Ooh. I really like how the wallpaper, I turned it around the other way. So this looks so much more realistic. And a little bit of this um, stuff that I trimmed off over here. The... Um, it was dyed uh, cheesecloth I put under here to give it, you know, a little bit of gritty design. But anyhow, there, there. <laughs> I got a chance to show you. On the back side of that is nothing as yet. I'm still debating whether that's going to be the kitchen or the dungeon or, or whatever. On the back of here, it could be almost anything because of the brick. Uh, it would go anywhere in your house. All right, so R... <laughs> our challenge was we had uh, for Caroline's Craft Tree Challenge week 35 we have library card we have sticky note we have hat, we have person and we have typewriter so we got them all and I really appreciate you coming to, to visit and spend some time thank you to my subscribers and my watchers and viewers thank you thank you i'm giving you a close-up because i never seem to <laughs> and everybody have a great great day bye